In today's video, we will be learning about the agents of pollination. The agents of pollination. Pollination by insects. When an insect visits a flower, the pollen grains get deposited on the body of the insect. When this insect visits another flower, the deposited pollen grains now get dusted on the stigma of the second flower, thus bringing out pollination. Pollination by insects is called entomophily. Pollination by wind Pollen grains in some cases are carried by wind. Flowers in such cases show the following characteristics. Pollen grains are light and dry and are produced in large numbers. Stigma is large and feathery to catch the wind pollinated pollen grains. Pollination by wind is also called anemophily. Pollination of Raphalicia This big flower over here is the world's largest flower. It is called Raphalicia. Raphalicia flowers produce the smell of rotting meat to attract flies for pollination. They also pollinate with the help of elephants. Raphalicias are big flowers found in Indonesia's rainforest. So elephants stamp on the flower and then the pollen grains stick to their foot and fall off somewhere else. Pollination by elephants is also called elephophily. Pollination by birds. The flowers that are pollinated by birds have are typically colorful, often red flowers with long tubular structures holding ample nectar. Pollination by birds is also called ornithophily.